welcome to my cave. Today we are going to look at making a interface cable from a radio, one of those back there, to a computer. <laughs> Just a sort of screen. <laughs> yeah. So let's start. Here is my old cable. What was I thinking? Let's look at what's wrong with it. First, rat's nest. Joy. Solid wires for this connector over here. These solid wires, not that great. How does this cable work? So we have two parts to this cable, one which I won't be dealing with too much. First is the CRV connector over here. Connects it to the back of the ICOM radio. Cable comes around and into this adapter over here. It's a FTDR cable. I will do another video on those if you want, comment below. But I have already made another cable much nicer than the one I've got here. And uh, we can look at making other, more, another one like that as well. Comment below. Below, should I say. Okay. What we're really interested in is the audio. So this is basically a mic. Places the microphone jack. On the ICOM 706 Mark II, we have two connectors, one at the back and one on the side, front. Uh, it's a standard RJ45 connector, and I have used, well, a standard network cable to do this, so the, the twisted pairs are wrong, but we'll still be able to use it. And um, then I've got, it's going through these two audio transformers over here in this nice rat's nest to okay into this four pin connector so we've got ground we've got mic we've got left and right or right and left whatever so this is connecting to that and in mine you can see this cable's already broken and there's no shroud over it to protect it never mind the no shroud over this little rat's nest that we have here so okay my initial thoughts were get some more of these audio transformers and uh, you can see where I got them from, Mantec. That's the number there, 14M 2070. I'm not sponsored by Mantec, but hey, send some love this way. Okay, so we've got the transformers and I figured, cool, I'm gonna get a cable that I've already pre-cut, but this one is nice, flexible cable that's got, not solid core, it's got Multi-stranded, should we say. So, a bit better over the last one. Still wrong twisted pairs, but it's shorter and I reckon it'll still be okay. I might change this later on and if I do, what I will do then is cut this cable and connect my own connector in here using nice twisted, using the correct twisted pairs for the audio channels to minimize noise. So, that. And then I figured, cool, and I got some other uh, extensions they looked like this before I cut them up and uh, we can just connect this together same as that one and uh, awesome and I thought hang on a second no 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 let's we can we can do better than this so what did I do I got myself a shielded case so this is a metal case and I have drilled some holes and put some connectors in the side what does this allow me to do? Okay, so what I can do with this is this now I can't use, although I do have another application for this, which you will see later. What I do now is I can connect those speaker and mic wires up. If I've got speaker and mic separately on my laptop, I can do that. Or I can is I've got this connector over here with four pins which I can plug into my phone or my newer laptop. And currently this cable's got the wrong end, but hey, I've got some right ends which we can stick in there. And yeah, so now we can use it for both. And never mind that, you'll notice I have PTT over here. So what I can do with this box now, after I've finished making it up, is that speaker and mic can be connected up to my headset. And the PTT, I can connect up to an external PTT. Okay, so to start, what are we using? So firstly, 
we have our connector and uh, it has colors <laughs> so this uh, is drawn in the, according to the manual as if you're sticking it in so if you see there's the colors and I'm sticking it into the radio like this and then we would have these these details according to the manual and I've written it down here as per the colors that I've also got so pin number one through to eight and then what colors we've got so that I can easily see when I'm doing the wiring what colors to use so the radio gives us out of the microphone port 8 volts which we won't use up and down which we won't use audio out yeah we're going to use that PTT we're going to use ground mic in ground and squats we won't use so we'll use all of those then we've got these audio transformers now why are we using audio transformer you don't need one in if you're doing other things right <laughs> so if you're powering your uh, computer from the same power source as the radio you probably can get away with not using this but um, and, and, and I must say most installations probably don't need an audio transformer but uh, I'm doing one because I'm not sure sometimes what situation I'm going to be in and this allows me to uh, isolate the two systems from each other uh, so that the, there's no ground loop or anything like that um, which can introduce hum however you must always keep in mind that an audio transformer can also introduce hum via magnetics so that is why the shielded case very important there when it comes to this audio transformer you also see this one over here has got um, the one side has got one coil the other side's got two um, not a big deal really in our scenario because uh, we can just use one coil although you'll see in the diagram now I do use two so let's look at the diagram how are we going to do this we have radio on one side PC on the other and we want to isolate everything okay so if you can see here the earths are not connected to each other so we got nice isolation with that audio um, so I've written on the side here all the connections, what the, what numbers, what green, what color it is, and what it is. And on the right hand side, I've just drawn the plug, although it's going to be using um, these goodies, of course. So here's the, I've just moved it up. You can see the bottom section over here. We've got the PTT out, um, and then the the connector for the box that we're going to connect up in there. This, you will see I have not connected the ground of the radio to the ground of the PTT or the outer, they call it the ring of that connector. Mainly because if you notice over here, that is connected to the casing. These ones are also connected to the casing. Now, over here, it's not a problem with that one's connected to that one because they are connected anyway. Let's see. But what I don't want happening is for that ring of the PTT which is connected to those two over there to be connected to the earth of the radio because that's what we're avoiding so the simple solution for me is just to use these two connections the left and right connections of the stereo jack plug instead of the ring that's a non-standard but it saves me from having to um, mill out that more and make sure that it doesn't connect to the casing so little shortcut Maybe it'll bite me later, but let's go with that. So, it is now done, we have a little box with the cable, before I seal it I want to put some hot snot glue all over the bits and pieces, I want to do a few tests. Okay, oops, I've already unplugged this, plugged this one in, tried the foot switch, 
and it did not work. I realized, hang on a second, this pin over here, this cable should not have been connected to the earth, but to the other. So right and left is connected on the PTT. And, yep. Oh, let me just tell you what I've done so far. So, radio, uh, output set to low power, and then the output of that is connected over here to a dummy load. 2000 watt dummy load, but yeah, no problems. And then I've got my little Kenwood over here. TH7, F7, whatever. It's tuned to the same frequency as the main radio. Uh, so when I'm transmitting via this foot switch, you can hear there's the radios come on. Now we're going to test a headset. So I've got a little headset here. It's on me. So let's check what happens here. So I've got the, heads, the speaker and mic connected up nicely over there. If I open the squelch on the radio, <gasps> oh, did you listen? That's the speaker. Hopefully you can hear that. Do that. Then the microphone, if I PTT now and the microphone's working, we should get the squeal again. No squeal! And that's because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm an idiot. I forgot something important. We've got three pins over here. Now, some of the microphones don't need power. Oops, focus. Focus. Okay, some of the microphones don't need power, but I think this one does. Um, that's why it's got three, so one can give it power from the PC. That was the reason that I forgot about. That's why we don't want to short things out. Because if you short this, you can short ground out to the power. So I've got a funny feeling one of these is power. I think I need to research this more. And if that's the case, we are getting power. We do get power from here. Remember the pin one, eight volts? So let me take a look, see if we need power. That's probably why it's there. Clever okay, icon people. Okay, so I'm currently here on JSAT call, having a chat with Avi and Brian. And uh, also on Discord. So that's Discord. And that's the JS8 call coming through. I 
So, Harvey, if you send an old call, it should see a message for, for you from here as well. So, you know what this means? You could have, um, like, a jack operator with remote nodes. And those remote nodes don't have to be manned, um, let's say, per, uh, every single minute. Um, well... You know what I mean, the operator doesn't have to sit there glued to the terminal, he can, when he gets information, he can leave a stored message and he can go and do his business, come back and leave all the messages and then the, the jock operator can just query his terminal the whole time and retrieve the message. Yeah. I started this project one week ago, um, where you saw in the beginning of the video me building the interface cable. So just as a summary, I have um, modified a few things. So I'm using a smaller computer, um, not my main computer, so that I don't have to uh, see that. I don't have to keep my main computer running. And this one's been running for a while. Today I've spoken to Namibia. Well, they've, I've heard Namibia and Cape Town. Um, so my system's running at low power, but it's still running on 40 meters right now. I've also had to modify the cable, so um, not, the, not the audio cable, not the audio one that, that you saw me build. I modified the CIV cable because you can't do PTT through CIV, the CIV, so, which I was originally thinking you could. So what I did is I modified it and I added a uh, read switch relay so that it could do the PTT for me via DTR line. Um, you can use it through the Vox control on the radio, but I don't like doing that, so I did do the modification. If you guys want to see me make a cable like that, I uh, don't mind doing another one, just comment down below. Uh, also, the idea to use a headset with the cable, or with the same setup, is not going to work. Uh, way too many problems. Uh, I'm going to make a separate one for that. Stay tuned, I'll do that later on. And um, if you got any comments or suggestions, or I said something that was wrong, which is very likely, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been playing with these things, uh, please uh, put a comment down below and uh, help me out and help, help others out that have been watching this as well. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you want me to do any other videos on radio stuff, maybe my homemade antenna or I don't know whatever um, uh, leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do thanks for watching cheers it is excellent yeah it's quite cool <laughs>